Nanyang Technological University has announced a new five-year plan to help students tackle the changes brought on by technology, as well as challenges in a post-COVID world. From the new academic year that begins in August, all freshmen will be offered a common interdisciplinary core curriculum that covers topics like digital literacy and ethics. They'll have greater flexibility to pursue interdisciplinary courses and majors, and internships will become an integral part of course requirements. More focus will be also be put into enhancing teaching and student learning through a new institute. NTU's research and innovation capabilities will be improved to better tackle global challenges in areas such as health and environment. For more on this, we are joined now by Professor Subra Suresh, President of Nanyang Technological University. Well, a warm welcome, Professor. So let's uh, set the context now. Just how large are these changes compared to what your university is already doing? Thank you for having me. Uh, these changes are quite substantial. So starting this year, as you just announced, um, we are going to have a new um, undergrad interdisciplinary core curriculum for all 23,600 of our undergraduate students. And that's quite a substantial change. As a result of this, students from four different colleges, engineering, humanities, arts, and social sciences, business, and the College of Science will be able to take classes together as part of the core curriculum. So this is a significant change. The second will be, will include um, uh, things like ethics, uh, experiential learning, teamwork, uh, project-based learnings where they can work with somebody from a very different college, and many other things, uh, the, uh, being exposed to grand challenges, uh, communication skills, ethics, etc. The third major change that we are introducing this year, uh, which we believe will be a significant improvement, will be that every undergraduate student at NTU will be able to take internship. And that's quite substantial, given that we have a very large number of undergraduate students. Then there are new uh, curricular offerings, such as uh, double majors. Uh, there is a new double major in economics and data science. There is a new second major in entrepreneurship. So it's a very significant attempt at improving and elevating our undergraduate curriculum for all of our undergraduate students. Professor, some of the key thrusts, uh, you know, one of them at least, is this interdisciplinary approach. So how does this reflect the job market and perhaps also the students' changing needs? So the students who will be graduating from universities, including NTU, um, will face many decades of productive career where not only change jobs, they will change professions. So while we want them to have during their three or four years on campus, deep disciplinary expertise, if somebody is trained as an engineer, we want them to be trained very deeply in, their, in that particular branch of engineering. At the same time, Engineering is just no longer an isolated field. You need communication skills. If you want to start a, a new company, a spin-off, you need to know how to do a business plan, uh, how to engage with business people. You need to make a pitch, uh, appreciation of the arts, things like ethics, even in engineering. And the other way around, if you're an arts major or a humanities major, you're going to live in a highly digitalized world, and you need to know something about digital hygiene, uh, computer coding, uh, communications, and many other skills. So we believe that this new curriculum will not only impart disciplinary expertise, but equally interdisciplinary exposure that will not only prepare students for more successful careers, but equally prepare them to be better citizens of a very rapidly changing and unpredictable world. Uh, which I have to ask you, Professor, you know, how has the uh, coronavirus pandemic actually reshaped education and uh, may maybe even tweaked, you know, um, your five-year plan, this new five-year plan for the students so that, you know, when they graduate, they can, you know, deal with all sorts of, you know, pandemic, people losing jobs, businesses failing. How do you prepare students for that sort of skills? Uh, great. That's a, that's a great question. And I think this is something that we have wrestled with quite a bit as we spent almost a year trying to prepare the five-year plan. The pandemic has taught us a lot of lessons. Just before the pandemic, it just happened that we migrated all our digitized curriculum online into the cloud. 
as a result, we were able to move into online courses very quickly over a weekend when we had to more than 600 courses. The pandemic has taught us that we are much more capable of delivering education in a high quality way than we thought was possible in the pre-pandemic world. At the same time, we have also realized that not everything can be online. We do educate students. Students have to work in the lab. They have to do teamwork. Uh, they have to be physically on campus for certain things. So one of the realizations is that we could use digital technologies much more effectively than we thought was possible. At the same time, we are much better positioned now on how to create hybrid models and hybrid modes so that uh, we can be very successful in delivering education. Then there are many other things we realized, you know, where we spend our time most productively, how best to educate the students, what are the, most, what are the best ways of delivering using technology. And these are things we learned. Of course, there is a new topic where NTU is very well positioned to improve our educational offerings. This is the so-called science of learning. The topic itself is not new, but there are a lot of discoveries coming out through a combination of learning science, cognitive science, and of course, science of learning and, and neuroscience. Putting all of this together uh, is also part and parcel of our five-year plan. Professor Suresh, thank you very much for sharing your time with us this evening and talking to us about these changes. And congratulations and all the best on this five-year plan. Professor Subra Suresh, the president of the Nanyang Technological University.